Okay, we are back. This is going to be the follow-up video to the one that we did before. This is going to be multi-point configuration of a frame relay with EIGRP. So, um, I have already configured the frame relay cloud. I am going to post those configurations in the description of the video. Um, I didn't want to go through that process. Uh, on camera however it's not that difficult you can definitely just copy and paste uh, my configs into your chosen router which is what this is and go from there okay so we are going to follow the same IP addressing scheme that was used by Jeremy on the CVT Nugget CCMP video number 13 just so we can keep the lab simple and quick Okay, so the first thing we need to do with this topology is actually make uh, the frame relays configuration so that the routers can talk to each other and then we can go ahead with EIGRP. So I am going to start the configs on router one, which will be the hub on this hub and spoke type of topology. And so here we go. So we're gonna configure terminal and we need to configure the outgoing interface with in, which in this case it is one slash one we are going to enable this for frame relay switching we're going to encapsulate it no shut always with that to be safe and then we're going to exit out of here go back up here we're going to give this uh sub interface of 100 for multi-point Let's give it an IP address of 10.1.5.1 for this side. Mm, okay, and we're using 10.1 because this is router 1. Uh, that helps you keep track when you're trying to learn this type of stuff. So, uh, there we go. And then here is where we do uh, the configs for, let's say, multi point. So, we're going to go here frame relay map ip is going to ask you what ip and then you're going to we're going to connect this side to router 2 and the ip that we're going to give this side is going to be 10.1.5.2 and with the del c102 because this is the one coming over this router and the word broadcast uh, that is what is going to allow those uh, routing of the messages across this uh, non-broadcast multi-access uh, network so we are going to click on enter here and what this command says is this allows you to take uh, the your layer 2 address which is your delsies and map them to the ip addresses um, of the remote IP addresses, so your local DLC, which is one or two here, to your remote IP address, which is the IP address of the PVC that you're going to set on this side. Okay, so now we did it this way, we have to go down to the other router. So I'm just gonna do an up. This is going to be three for router three and for that PVC, it's the exact same thing enter okay uh, so if we do a show ip interface brief we need to put the do in front of that uh, it is down uh, because there is nothing on the other side yet okay so we're gonna go ahead to router 2 now router 2 your terminal uh, and this is for this interface we're going to encapsulate that for frame relay now we do an old shot exit dot we're gonna put here 201 because we're going the other way for multi-point Okay, IP address and then one dot five dot two. Uh, did I do the right? I think so. Turn on the two, 
and then we're gonna do frame relay map ip and so we're gonna map now on this router uh we're gonna map this router and this router so from here we're gonna turn that one that one and out of my local delsi allowing the broadcast and then we're gonna do the same thing for router three out of the same delsi also allowing the broadcast okay uh, so move on to router three um configure terminal interface is the same thing basically serial we're coming up the one two we're gonna encapsulate this for frame relay we're gonna do an old shut get out we're gonna map this to we're gonna give the 301 because you're going back from router three to router one we're gonna multi-point this stuff give this an ip address of 10.1.5.3 as you can see, it's the same scheme and it helps you keep track. And we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna map uh, uh, the Delta 2 IP address to this router and to that router. So, frame relay, IP, 10.1.5.1, correct? Out of my Delta, allowing broadcast. And we're gonna also do it for this router. Allowing broadcast. Okay, so now we can move into EIGRP since I am already here. Um, router. EIGRP 15, just because. No auto summary. Are we gonna give the network? This is the lazy way of doing it. And then if we go here, exit router fifteen no auto network and we should see a neighbor come up here very soon mm, it's not giving me a neighbor it's weird Okay, what did I forget? It has the address. That's the map. Um, let's check. One dot two. Okay, let's do a show IP. And if it's brief, it is up, up. Why didn't this thing give me a message about a new neighbor? Do show IP route. It doesn't have a HRP route, okay? That's why I didn't get a message. So, router, no other summary network, and uh, do show. IP interface brief. This doesn't exist. This is up, up. Yeah, so this is incorrect. Okay. So, of course, if No, it's not. Okay, what if we do this here first then? Exit. Router. EIGRP 15. No auto. Network. Okay. Oh, I see what happened. 
Mm. Oh, this is an issue with Split Horizon. Okay. So if so you can see this has one neighbor, this has one neighbor, this has two neighbors. Uh, so if we go here and we need to disable unfortunately split horizon on the PVC we created. So we gotta exit out of this, do interface serial, uh, and this is one slash one dot one hundred. After you do it the first time, you don't need to specify multipoint. So no IP. I think it's split. There we go. EIGRP and the number that we're using is 15. So this is gonna recalculate the neighbors and then everybody should have two neighbors. Oh, so here we go. There, there we go. So we have two neighbors two neighbors, two neighbors. That looks about right. So if I do here and show IP interface brief, I can see that my PVCs are up. Let's do the same thing here. that makes sense so what we need to do is try some actually let's do a show ip route there you go we actually have the networks and for our loopbacks also um so we need to test for connectivity so if i do ping go to router 2 and I do ping 10.1.5.2 I can get there now if I try the loopbacks uh, ping 10.2.1.5 okay I can get there I can get there and we can just try it this way also so let's do ping. And get there. And there. And there. And there. So I am able to go from here to the others. So let's try it from router two now. IP interface brief ping 10.1.5.1 of course I can get there 10.1.5 2.5 there we go now let's test it for here if I can do ping 10.1.5.3 we can get there 10.3.1.5 and there and here and there okay now let's test router 3 to router 2 ping show IP interface brief this is a way you can look at a your addresses and you don't actually need to remember anything we can get here 10.2.1.5 and there and here and there so as you can see we have um multi-point frame relay having eigrp uh, what we must remember uh, is that for this to work, you need to disable split horizon on your uh, hub router. Uh, anyways, guys, I hope this was helpful for uh, some of you. Uh, thank you for tuning in. And if you wanted to see this, even though I'm going to put it in the description of the video, uh, basically on your on the router that you're going to use for frame relay switch, you need to enable it for frame relay switching. Uh, with this command
right then you need to go on each of your interfaces set it as the dce device you need to give it a clock rate and you need to encapsulate it from relay so everything could be speaking the same language more or less you do that for every one of your interfaces which is this that and here and then you need to connect basically this tells your pvc you're gonna go from this pvc to here and from here to here and so that's why you have the command twice um and that's about it anyways guys thank you for uh tuning in uh, i'll catch you on the flip side